Japan's defense budget expenditure is increasing. In the draft budget submitted to the Diet session that began last week, the Ministry of Defense was allocated the largest budget which reached a record 5.3 trillion yen, or around US $48 billion. This marks the eighth year in a row that the Ministry of Defense received the largest budget, WWW3 reported. A portion of this amount will be used for the development of stealth warplanes built in the country to replace the aging F-2 fleet. The F-2 was first deployed in Japan in 2000. This is a unique jet among warplanes used by the self-defense forces because it was jointly developed by Japan and the US. Other variants are only made in the United States. The Ministry of Defense began its own aircraft program more than 30 years ago, when Japan's manufacturing industry became a source of national pride. The aim is to build a jet fighter that is entirely made in Japan. The government hopes to utilize the technical expertise of the world-famous country and create the successor to the famous Zero fighter of its time. Zero Fighter was considered one of the world's top fighters when it was first deployed. But the program is caught in a cross between economic friction with the U.S. Washington is unhappy with the increasing trade deficit with Japan and pressures the Japanese government to buy U.S.-made aircraft. The Japanese government was forced to abandon its plans to produce fighter aircraft in the country, instead agreeing to cooperate with the U.S. on fighter planes which later became F-2. The fighter jet was created by combining Japanese technology with U.S.-made F-16 bodies. Several decades later, President Donald Trump's call to Japan to once again buy American products relived the last bitter memory when Washington mixed business with national security. Plans for the manufacture of Japanese fighter jets that were produced domestically were previously interrupted by political maneuvers, and some parties in Tokyo feared the same thing could happen again. The Japanese Self-Defense Air Force currently has around 90 F-2 fighters. Experts say the Japanese Self-Defense Forces F-2 fleet must retire in the mid-2030s if current usage levels are maintained. They also said developing the latest generation of fighter aircraft would take at least a decade, so replacement work had to start now. In addition, government officials said Japan's current security situation made the need for renewed defense measures increasingly urgent. China and Russia have developed a fifth-generation jet fighter currently in service, said former Defense Minister Satoshi Morimoto. In view of this, Japan needs to take steps to fulfill its air defense responsibilities. The Ministry of Defense made clear in its mid-term defense program that it intends to start working on the Japanese-led F-2 successor immediately with the help of international partners but the ministry wants to take the lead in such a project so that it can develop technological capabilities to create its own fighter fleet. After the Second World War, Japan's defense industry entered a period of long-term decline. During this time, Japan relied heavily on the U.S.-made system. Some industry analysts said the upcoming jet fighter project was Japan's last chance to revive the development of domestic defense technology. Contractors from the U.S. and U.K. have started working in the field to enter the project. The American company Lockheed Martin is one of them, proposing the development of hybrid F-22 and F-35. The F-22 is known as one of the most sophisticated fighter jets in the world, possessing the latest stealth, capabilities and supersonic cruise speeds. Lockheed Martin plans to combine this with F-35 network technology. But there are fears the U.S. will not divulge design information, which will make it difficult for Japan to finally build its own stealth jet. For this reason, several people in the government and the ruling Liberal Democratic Party voiced their opposition. Meanwhile, Britain is in the initial stages of developing its own latest-generation aircraft dubbed Tempest. Some people in Tokyo called for partnerships based on the Tempest model, partly because of the belief that Britain would be more receptive to a Japanese-led project.
but there are deep doubts, with some saying Japan must prioritize relations with its close ally, the U.S. Next year, we need to think of the concept as we want it to be, said Morimoto, a former defense minister. This project will require collaboration between Japanese companies, the government, and political parties. It is important to utilize the combined wisdom of the Japanese people to build a new situation of defense readiness. I believe such efforts will help shape Japan's future. Developing fighter jets is an expensive proposition, with an estimated cost of reaching trillions of yen. But despite the huge price, there is little transparency in which money is allocated. The government says this is due to security concerns. But critics say this is not an acceptable response in a supposedly democratic country. The community clearly needs to be involved in the process. Politicians and the defense industry cannot be allowed to have a single authority over decisions that weigh heavily on the national budget. It is important for the government and the Japanese community to work together to choose a fighter project that balances cost-effectiveness with the country's commitment to self-defense and the reality of its current security situation.